What's good, y'all? You already know what it. Actually, I don't know what it is because recently I decided to bring back a Shiny's podcast. So here we are. This is the first episode of 2023, dropping the first day of 2023. So we're gonna do this episode right. We're gonna get to it, and yeah, that's kind of exciting. We switching it up a little bit. Real this big. is not L47 Light. This is not who this is. Okay. It's not. It's not. <laughs> so we're gonna get into all that in a minute. I'm just gonna give y'all a little rundown real quick. So yeah, like I said, I'm bringing back a Shawnee's podcast. I'm still a part of the Loud and Clear, but I'm gonna focus my energy more so on this podcast and this platform. And so yeah, it is nothing. No beef, no nothing, nothing happened. You know how y'all like to create your own narratives and run with it. Nothing happened, but when you when your paths don't align with people, you gotta switch things up and you gotta go your own way, your own route. This is my passion, this is what I wanna do. This is not everybody's passion, it's more like a hobby for everybody else. So instead of completely just like letting it go, I was like, all right, we could keep it, you know, we could keep doing it, y'all like it, whatever. But I'm gonna have to bring back my own so I could really push that and really like you feel me? Because I'm trying to be up there with the million dollars worth of games. Yeah, Carisha, please. Even though she's not consistent, but y'all fuck with her, so y'all fuck with the podcast. But yes, I'm trying to be up there. No for sure. All that. Like, that's what I'm trying to be. So. Break feet. Yeah. Okay. Break so feet. when, so when, so since that's the route that I'm trying to go, I got to do a lot. Like, I got to push this. So, with that being said, we're back with, back at it with a Shiny's podcast. And we're going to get into it with the first guest. Go ahead, introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Artist World. It's no more L47 Lay. I'm still L47 all day. It's L47 Artist. It's L4 Love and Loyalty. They won't ever leave me, you know? Hey, that's a gang right there. But the name Lay, she she died. Like, I killed her, so it's like... A whole rebranding moment. I literally love that for you. Like I just had, I just had to, I had to disappear Yo. and and come back a whole new person. Like, like I killed Lay. Like Lay's dead. She got buried. Like she no longer exists. Like I'm, she out of here. She out of here. If y'all say something about Lay, I'm like I don't know who the fuck that is because she don't exist no more. Like period. It's just like. And she I, said what she said. I had to, you know, I had to leave where we at and get my bag right. Like, that's literally what I did. Like, I had to figure out who I was as a person and figure out what I wanted out of life. Like, where was my next move? How was I going to go? Like, I like that. I had to figure out what I wanted for me and not what I wanted, well, not what everybody else wanted for me. Mm. It was like, I had to figure out what I Ooh. wanted for me because I was trying to live. I was a people pleaser. I was try, too busy trying to please this person, please that person, make sure this person cool, make sure that person cool. I was losing myself. I didn't even realize who the fuck I was. And once Lay Philly really like lost herself, she just died. Like it was like she died, and I had to pull this person up out of me. And this bitch ain't going nowhere. So it's like you know, I might as well get used to seeing artists because like. She's not going anywhere. Like. Yeah, that's how I feel about Shawnee. Like, what? Yeah. It's a whole different brand. Like, like it's different. Like, ooh, I had to catch myself the other day because I was like, um, somebody asked me what my name is because I'm trying to push a Shawnee. Like, that's what I want to be called. That's it. That's all. Either me or Shawnee or just a Shawnee. So somebody asked me, they was like, what's your name? I'm like, Nia. I mean, um, no, no, Shawnee, Shawnee. Then I had to explain it to her because it's like, bitch, you don't know your name. Like, yeah, like, like. But no, I had to explain it. I don't even, like, I don't need a slip up no more when they make they sign their artists. Period. Like, I'm I straight hit them with the oh, artists because it's oh, like, it's no more Lay. Like, yeah. she been through so much. Lay created artists. So there's like, Lay can't. Like, artists can't exist without Lay, you mm -hmm. feel me? Like, there is no artist without the shit that Lay went through. But, Ooh. okay. But, in order for me to be artist, I had to kill Lay 
I had to let her die all the way. Like, bro, you gotta go. Like, it's just, it's just certain things that you start to, you start to look at motherfuckers differently. Like, not even look at people differently because of who they are, but you start to look at motherfuckers differently because of who you are. It's like, I'm not. I really changed it. I'm changing. <laughs> She's talking that shit already. I'm like. changing. And it's like, I can't. I'm changing. I can't hang around oh what we God. used I'm to do. I'm about to start crying. Don't like, cry because so you're proud of you, yo. Like, for real. Like, Because I really used to be a hothead. All like. types of stuff. Like, I had to realize, like, bro. And it's not even about there's no money there or nothing like that. Like, yeah, I changed my money, my mindset to money. Yes, mm -hmm. I did. I did. I turned my feelings off. Said, fuck these niggas, fuck these bitches. I gotta get my bag. You feel me? I had so much shit happen to me. You feel me? Motherfuckers, they switched on me. Motherfuckers started talking shit about me. Motherfuckers started assuming shit when certain shit got out there. That we gonna speak about when certain shit got out there. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers start being crazy and shit like that you feel me and it was like i'm trying to find me so stick with me till i find out who i am that way you could be like yo i really watched this bitch evolve you feel me that's how i feel right now like, like you could really, not even done like, like you could really be like i'm watching her like grow like mm -hmm. i want to be the, the person that be like yeah i stuck by her or whatever the case may be when the world switched on her i stuck by that bitch or whatever the case may be i know her story so it's right. different when you when somebody know your story and they start treating you weird and all that shit like that like cause, and they they start treating you weird because they think you treating them weird no but i'm just focused on myself right now like i gotta get that's, me right i don't know how to, i can't love nobody else if i don't love me i can't be your friend if i'm not my own friend right like i can't i can't give you no money i ain't got no money to give myself you mm -hmm. feel me so it's like bro i always was a, a genuine person. I was always genuine. Motherfuckers started taking that shit for granted. So I had to show these motherfuckers like, anything you do to me, I'm gonna shock you every time. It's like, y'all never know what's going on in my world. Y'all always, it's like every time I pop out with something new, y'all be like, yo, what the fuck? Like, literally, I be having this county and shambles all the time. Like, I'm always the topic of discussion. It's cool. Cause I'm about to blow. Yeah, it's Harford County. Just in case y'all don't know, we about to get to that too. She don't stay over here no more. I, yeah, I don't. I live in Philly. Like I went back home. I didn't went back home. I said I can't do it. I'm gonna be real. There's no place like home. Like honestly, living here, I was depressed. I didn't. I felt like I didn't. Like I just wasn't doing shit. I had money. Mm. I always had money. That was never my problem. Getting a bag was never my problem. Mm -hmm. It was where my bag was going that was my problem. My bag going to a nigga. My bag going to a friend. My bag going to this person. Going to that person. I'm not investing in me. I'm not putting the time in that I need with me. Like, I got dreams and goals. I'm steady talking about them. I'm steady, steady saying I got this. I start something, don't finish it. Start something, don't finish it. That was me for a minute living out here. I got to Philly in a month. I was performing. Do y'all hear her take like, accountability? In a month, I was like, performing. Literally, and it's like it was nobody's no. fault but mine. Because I put myself in them positions. Every time I fell, it was my fault. Because I put myself in that position. Because mm -hmm. it's like, bro... You know what you gotta do to get right. right. Why are you not doing it? You feel me? But it was I because you. I was a people pleaser. I'm trying to please everybody else. Make sure this person right and this person right and this person like me and this person like me and that person like I don't give a fuck who like me, who with me, you get me cool, you rock with me cool, Girl. like that shit cool, all that shit cool. It's like at the end of the day, I'm eating right now and my stomach right. like I'm gaining weight. I'm happy like. I could not complain about life right now. Like, I could honestly say thank you, Harper County. Like, thank Harper. I honestly I thank Harper County. Like, y'all put me in the worst positions ever in life. But if I was never in these positions, I wouldn't have nothing to talk about when I rap. I wouldn't have nothing. Like, I wouldn't have nothing to build on. Nothing right. to look back at and be like, no bro. Like, right. I did. I just be doing this shit just to be doing it, bro. I got a story and like. My story, once my story really come out, come out, it's going to help so many other young people and so many old people too that's like still battling with certain shit, not knowing how to love themselves, not knowing how to heal and find out who they are spiritually, like in tune, all types of stuff. Like when I say I literally just moved out there, I didn't have no plan. I lost a baby and moved out there. Like that's literally what happened. Like, how did that affect you? It made me feel like shit, like, I ain't gonna lie. 
For a minute, I just lost myself. Like, that's what killed Lay. When I lost my baby, I lost me. I ain't really give a fuck, you know? Mm -hmm. Baby dad couldn't do nothing on house arrest. I was, he, not, he don't think the baby is. It's a lot of shit. You know, a whole bunch of rumors going around, you know, about fucking saying one thing, it's another thing, this, that, all it, it was a lot. It was a lot of shit, a lot of trauma that came with that. Like, mm -hmm. So it was like, once it was over, it, was, it wasn't it was really over because I still had to deal with the backlash of, oh, she faked the pregnancy and this, that, and the third, and all the, uh, all the extra, the bullshit that still come with it, still to this day, I still mm -hmm. gotta hear, fuck that being that baby, all types of shit, I really don't Yeah, people, people are cool, and that's cool because it's like, I'm starting to learn deflection. Like, I'm starting to learn. People deflect on you how they feel about themselves. Amen. So, I'm starting Amen. to learn that. And it's Amen. like, that's not my shit that I'm that, that you carry. And, like, you trying to put your shit on me. I'm not about to carry that. Like, I don't give a fuck no, about how you feel, bro. Like, yeah, do you. Like, I the biggest thing I learned from even my brand, like, with Brandon Unapologetic and merch dropping real soon Period. on the first. About to have all that. But unapologetic, like even with starting unapologetic as a mm -hmm. brand and all of that, like I felt like I had to be unapologetic. Like I had to start doing shit and not saying sorry for it. Period. Like I love that. Especially Yo, after I lost my baby because right. I went through that alone and mm -hmm. went through so much during it and after. You feel me? I went through so much of that by myself that it was like damn. Who the fuck gonna pick me up now? Right. I pick everybody else up. I fell completely homeless, no money, no job, no nothing. I fell completely. Wasn't well, nobody there to pick me up but my mom. Like, I moved to Philly with my mommy. My mom slept in a bedroom in the same bed. Like, right. we slept in the same bed. I'm going to bed every night next to my mom, waking up 6.30 in the morning, like, get the checkers by 8. Period. But I don't even gotta be the checkers awesome. till I don't even gotta be the checkers till nine thirty ten o'clock. But if I get up there by eight forty, I'm cool because I'm not about to miss the bus that make me get up there at nine. So I just I was pushing, pushing, pushing when I got to Philly, pushing, pushing, pushing myself. Right. Started racking my checks up to save my money. Me and my mom ended up getting a crib. Then we got a crib, own rooms, own bathroom. Washer, dryer, upstairs, downstairs. You've been to my crib. Yeah, I was gonna like, say, I first seen it. I first seen it. Like, you've been in my crib. It's like, it's like, honestly, losing my baby, I'm not gonna say it was a good thing, but it mm -hmm. was a, it was a good thing. Like, I'm in my prime right now. Like, it changed your life for the it better. Changed it changed my life for the way that you look at things. The way I look at things, like, you could have something one day and then be gone the next. So, you gotta mm -hmm. live in that fucking moment. Like, you can't be thinking about what everybody else is gonna think about you because. At the end of the day, you live it for you. This is if this is your goal, your passion, your dream, whatever you got in life, no matter if you don't even got no dreams, you wanna be a bum, be a fucking bum, bro. Nobody can tell you how to live. My right. is always gonna have something to say. I'm gonna talk shit. You wanna right. sit around and be a bum? I'ma talk shit about you all day, bro. I'm like, oh her bum ass, his bum ass. Like I really am. I'm one of them. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I talk shit a lot. <laughs> yeah. I have a real bad habit of it. I can't help it. Right. But it's like, if you wanna be a bum, that's on you. Be the best bum. Yo. <laughs> Make sure you're the best bum. Like, you feel hey. me? Living your truth. <laughs> to each his own. Again, I'll never be a bum. But to live in your truth, that's what I'm really trying to say. Like, right. to live in to your truth. Own. Be a bum unapologetically. Like, if you want to be a bum, do that shit and do it unapologetically. Like, stop trying, to, <laughs> stop trying to stop trying to argue with motherfuckers when they tell you you a bum. Be like, yeah, I'm a bum. <laughs> yeah. But all oh, that shit. What are you talking about? I respect you more. We might could hang out together. You feel me? Like, no, bro. I don't want to do nothing with my life. I just want to be lazy, collect this government money, and call it a day. I wouldn't be mad at you because you keeping that shit a bean. Like, no, for real. Niggas who don't keep that. Females, too. Y'all bitches be lying. But it's like when you learn to live in your truth and you... You really sit down with yourself. That's what I did. I sat down with myself. I looked at myself in the mirror. And I called myself every name that everybody has ever called me. And the ones that resonated with me, they did. But the ones that didn't, I just laughed at them. Like, that was funny. Like, it's cool because at the end of the day, 
the life that I want to live, I got to prepare for critics. I got to prepare for... I be reminding myself the same All thing, I can't respond to all thing. the negativity. I can't no. respond. The way that Lay would have responded to stuff, artists can't respond that way. You feel me? So it's like, Gross. artists really just... Gross. Like, okay. it's like the way Lay would have moved mm -hmm. when it came to certain things. Artists don't move that way. It's like, that's cool too, you know? Like... I be cool off a lot of stuff now. I used to try to fight for love and stick with a nigga because I love him and stick by that. Fuck that. Fuck you and your situation. I don't care. I got my own shit going on. Okay. What did you talk about? You, bro, you homeless. I don't care. I'm not ever letting a nigga move in with me again. That shit runs. Like, it's like. No, it's like, I, if I'm with a nigga, head. you gotta be on my level. Like, now right. I understand what bitches be saying. I always, under, like, I never understood what a bitch be like. If my nigga is homeless or my nigga don't got this, I'ma build him up. No, the fuck I'm not. I'm not doing that shit no more. Yo, I'm crying. I, I don't care. Call right. me petty. Call me no, any bitch. I understand where you call me, from. like, call me no, anything. Yeah. No, a nigga gotta have something for me to run the It's not on no gold nigga shit. I got my own shit. But if you can't match what I got, we can't fuck with each other. Because it's like, you gonna drag me down. Are you trying to bring me the way you at? Right. Bro, I'm trying to bring you where I'm at. Why are you not... Seeing that I'm trying to bring you where I'm at, you trying to drag me down because you down. You think we both supposed to be down? Nah, bro. I got a nigga. I need a nigga that's up. Or where I'm at. Because I'm not up all the way, but I'm right. stable. You feel me? A nigga that's stable. A man uh, or a female, I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. Like, to be honest, I train me. But just somebody that j just understands what it's like to lose your all. What are you living like yourself as again? Pansexual. Yeah. What is that? I mean, you like everybody? Yeah. Just because I like everybody that don't mean I like you. Like, that's yeah. what I really want to under. Like, I want to teach the world, like, when it comes to pansexuality, pansexuality and gender are two different things. Okay. So, a transgender man can change into a transgender woman, say, so she turned into a man, or whatever the case may be. They can still date women and men and all of that they just wasn't comfortable in that body as a woman right they was they're more comfortable as a man to date women or to date men like you feel me they more comfortable as a gay man or a gay sense. or like it's more comfortable that way mm -hmm. for me being a female i dress like a boy i dress like a girl i some days i want to be a boy some days i want to be a girl but i don't have a preference when it comes to who i like like I like you? anybody, so like you could be a bisexual man. Mm -hmm. But let me be very clear about this. I don't respect no man that's gay on the low. I can't respect it. Period. I can't respect it. With me being pansexual, you don't got to lie to me about your preferences. So if you feel like you got to lie to the world about what you are, or whatever the case may be, then we can't kick it because it's like, I'm comfortable with who I am. Mm -hmm. and. A nigga made me comfortable in who I am. What if he tell you, but not the world? I don't care. No, you ain't going to tell me and not the world. You going to have the world All looking right. at me crazy once you come out? When you decide to come out, you got the world looking at me crazy? Mm -hmm. uh, I support you in your come out. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I would support you. I don't have a problem with nobody being gay. You like what you like. I did a bisexual nigga. I got his name all over my body. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right. nothing wrong with it. I don't have a problem with it. I still to this day, I love that nigga. Mm -hmm. Like I, I wouldn't say I don't. I do. I love that nigga. But it's like I don't have a problem with him being bisexual. I never turned my back on him when it came out. Right. I didn't switch up on him, talk shit about him, call him a baby, anything like that. Like that's out of pocket. I feel like certain people with certain stories and certain situations, it's harder for them to come out. But I can respect you more. When you out in the open and everybody know. I can't respect you when you in the closet. Like, it go back to walking your truth. Like, Literally. Be who you are. Be who like, you are. When you walk in your truth. And it also come with a health matter. With me being pansexual. That's true. With me being pansexual. I need to know what you doing. As, Definitely. as a bisexual man. Or as a bisexual transgender. I need to know. Because you're going to be just sticking nothing in me. Right. No, definitely. Trying to give me anything. Like I feel like people me. don't 
think that far ahead and it's so disgusting. I, I do. That's what you have to when you gotta get to When you're a part of this community, it's a lot of stuff you gotta learn. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of stuff you have to deal with. I deal with a lot of backlash. Mm -hmm. A lot of it. Me, with me being a content creator and all types of stuff, I deal with a lot of backlash. And I deal with it from family members, from friends, from all over. I deal with that shit, but I chalk it because at the end of the day, it's like I'm learning to live in my truth. For so long, I didn't live in my truth. And I thank that nigga for that. Like, you really made me did come out into living my truth and be me comfortably. Like, I literally do thank you for that. Because you did, you know, you pushed me to a point where it was like, don't stop going, keep going, bro. Making sure I was going to school every day. Making sure I was comfortable. Stuff like that. So it's like, you got to know how to be comfortable in your relationship mm -hmm. if you're dealing with somebody like me. Because I always used to say, now I'd be saying I would never date outside of my community because I'm not going to keep explaining why one day I want to dress like a girl and the next day I want to like fall on dude or right. why one day I want to mess with a tranny and the next day I don't. I'm 20. I, I'm young. I don't got this shit all figured out yet. I'm glad that you know that though. Like it's okay to not have it all figured out right now. Especially when you're so young like it's just like, yeah, just go with the flow, roll with the punches. Literally, that's what I'm doing right now. Be real, like, after being tied down in a relationship for three years and not being my truest me, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say it like my relationship was shitty mm -hmm. or nothing like that, because y'all know I was happy as shit. Like, mm -hmm. I was. I was happy at one point in time, but things happen and people grow apart, people fall apart and situations start right. to happen and other motherfuckers start getting in your relationship and all types of shit. It just ruins everything. So everything y'all built. built and everything and it's like, uh, all right, motherfuckers are accusing you of shit. Then you start doing the shit they accuse you of because it's like, bitch, you accusing me. I'm really going to go do the shit. Uh -huh. Like... So it was just toxic and everything else. And it was like, after that, it was like, I had to, after that, and then after dealing with another toxic situation, right after that, it was mm -hmm. like, I'm at the place where it's like, it took me a month to get here, which is cool, because it takes bitches years to get here. You feel me? It took okay. me a month to, to look at myself and be like, bro, you got to finish school, start this music shit again. Don't stop this time. Keep going. Like, keep Friends. going. Somebody Friends. big. Somebody going to notice you. It take one video. That's what Literally. I keep telling myself every day. It just take one post. It just Literally. take one post. It just take one post. It happened for Lakia. It happened for Pushaisi. It happened for Glorilla. Like, all these people. And I'm not even trying to sound like no dickhead or nothing like that. But everybody in the industry dying. It's the best time. To get your foot yeah. in the door, like yeah. everybody sadly, dropped, but yeah. sadly, and then yeah. especially in Philly, like P and B just dropped. You know how many artists in Philly about to try to pop out now? Philly number one right now. This is my best time to shine. Yeah. Philly is jumping right now. Like Philly, we got that shit on lock right now. Like definitely, especially with the shape that shit. All That's that why shit. That's Philly lit right now. Like TikTok done blew Philly out the water. <laughs> like, like and the shit crazy. Like to me, and it be like. I don't know. I be seeing these youngest doing their thing and I be proud of them. Like, my mm -hmm. was younger than me. Like, I'm proud of them. Ooh. Cause it's like, them shake that boys, all of them are younger really? than me. Really? Yes, they all like Why 18. did I think they was like, like 17, 21, they youngest. Cause they, they, the youngest is like, Laybanks just turned 18. Really? Yes. What? Oh yeah, y'all babies. They're babies. I did, I did not know that. Y'all yeah, babies, babies for real. Like, dang. Yeah. My wig, bitch. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Baby. I really thought, like, 21 and young is maybe 20, but dang. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. What was it talking about? The battery died. <laughs> yeah. I got to do better with that. I don't really be remembering. Damn, what was we talking about? Being your true self. Basically. But the yeah. lesson is, be you. It's so much easier. And it is. You glow more, mm -hmm. you gain weight if you want to gain weight. You gain weight. You literally like, you just, it's like this weight. Like, it's like you always smiling mm -hmm. for no reason. People be like, what the fuck you smiling at? Nothing. I'm happy. Like, I'm just happy. You start to, motherfuckers start talking shit about you. You start to laugh. Yeah. 
No, for like, real. Like, it don't even phase you no more. Like, you be like, like oh, yeah. wow. You start hearing rumors about yourself. You be like, damn, I did that. <laughs> I don't even know. I ain't even that? know. Where was I? I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me I was there? You lying, bro. I was not there. What day? Like, what day? Huh? Like you just okay. like, why? Oh, okay. <laughs> like oh, why? You don't even try to defend yourself no, no more. Like none of that. Like it don't even be worth it. Like half the things you used to entertain, you realize now, like it's not even worth, worth it. it. Like all that toxicness. Like no. Nah. But let's talk about that new project you got coming up. That's dropping. Yeah, so Soul Searching, the video is dropping in six days. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's dropping on the first at 12 o'clock. It's dropping 1-0-1-2023, 12 o'clock. It'll be on YouTube. Period. The song is already out. You just gotta go click the link in my bio at L47 underscore artist. So my Instagram name is still the same. I just changed it to artist instead of lay. Um, but the y'all project, y'all, in, y'all really in, need to tap in because like in. nobody knows how hard it was for me to actually like tap into the character that I had to play for this video. So like I'm excited. I can't wait to watch it. Like bro, the video what? is like the visuals is already going crazy. The visuals for the video and are And this is dropping the same day. So this is dropping at eleven AM and she said her video drops twelve PM. So when y'all finish watching this, go right go over. Go right <laughs> over to the next page and just go on. It should, it should be right underneath actually. Yeah. Like, that's going. Yeah. So it's like uh Basically, the whole reason this project is, is meaning so much to me is because it's my introduction into my world as an artist. Like, okay. I did an intro before as an artist. Mm-hmm. It didn't go right. I had somebody finesse my career. They was basically, like, robbing me of knowledge and not teaching me the things that I needed to know. Basically, right. you feel me? So, basically, they were trying to figure out how they could eat off of me without me eating, too. Mm. So it was like, damn, you trying to shit on me without me even being big yet. Right. You feel me? Right. So this project to me really means something because I had somebody actually sit down with me. They actually invested their time and their money into me and they they told me like, you got something special. Nobody else. I've never heard a, a young female the way you spit about your truth and the shit you've been through and you still feel like a female but you got that nigga flow and it's like just call me Polo G Jr. off this bitch. Like, literally, though. No, but, like, but, like, the the meaning of this video, like, the character mode that I had to tap into, like, I really had to tap back into, like, honestly, like, it was like, I honestly had to tap back into her, wake her back up for a little bit. Like, she sleep. I, I shake her up there, beep, she in a coma. I just gotta... <laughs> Like, you know, because she's still there. She uh-huh. did, but she ain't all the way dead. Because like, mm-hmm. I still be in my little late moments and I be having to remember, like, you evolving. You're not going back to that person no more. So it's like, in that moment, I had to be her. Like, I had to remember being in a cell. I had to remember all the time I went through with making that song. I had to remember being 11 years old and being raped. I had to remember, like I had to. And so you was in jail before? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I knew that. Yeah. That's why I don't fuck with Harper County. <laughs> Yo, I did not know that one. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my God. How was that experience? So I mean, it was jail. Kept my head down until I came mm-hmm. home. Shit. Dang, good for how long? It was jail, like not that long. Oh, my wow. mom left me there. Um, teach you a lesson type shit. No. No. Oh, no, what? I don't know. Teach me a lesson type shit. This you told wasn't she left you there? She's rude. That she <laughs> left me. I got arrested. So what happened was, no. I was fighting these people. I beat this girl, her mom up, or whatever. I was fighting these people and I wound up being locked up on an assault charge because I assaulted a police officer. Mm-hmm. I spit on them type shit. Mm-hmm. Dumbass shit, you know. Mm-hmm. And I called my mom. Like, they said they'd let me go if you come get me. Like, they won't take me to jail. They, they won't take me to the precinct because that's where they was going to take me, mm-hmm. to the precinct. I'm like, they won't take me to the precinct if you come get me. This bitch ain't come get me. 
I'm weird. They didn't take me to the precinct though. They took me to jail. Yeah. They didn't take me to the precinct. They took me to fucking jail. And I had to sit in there. And sit. And sit. Mm -hmm. And sit and sit and sit. So and did sit. she come get you or somebody else? No, them fucking police officers. They like, we had to go to court. <laughs> Shit. When we was at court, court, Juicy, court, Juicy took me home. Oh, okay. That's how I'm like, how did you get out of there? Court. Like... Court is how I got home. Just because I went to court, mm -hmm. court was like, uh, they basically just labeled me a psych patient or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, do this time at the psychiatric facility or whatever. But you didn't have to spend a night there, did you? Yes. Oh, you did? Oh, night. Wow. Night. I'm talking about not jail, the psych. Oh, yeah. Place. Night. Night. I had to spend nights there. I've been in the psych ward like four or five times. Mm, I've been once. I ain't never been in jail, but I've definitely been there once. I've been to the psych ward like four or five times. Like, yeah. That was on my suicide attempt. But I think that's mandatory. When you go to a hospital for a suicide attempt, they mandatory. Is that uh, mandatory? Yeah, it is mandatory, yeah. but it don't help. It's pointless. I feel like. What? To be real, to when you the, go there to the hospital? Yeah, to unless the you take yourself. Unless you take yourself to the psych ward. Mm -hmm. I feel like that shit is pointless. I just felt like I didn't belong there. Like I didn't belong there either. Yeah, like I didn't I, I wasn't was, crazy. Yeah. I don't feel like I feel like I was going through something. I was depressed or whatever. I was depressed. Yeah. I like, wanted to kill myself. Like I don't think like they just wanna I just wanna I just wanted to off myself for a second. Like Like and then when you get in there, you see who's in there, you like I'm nothing like these people. <laughs> like, <laughs> Y'all play with me right now. Like, like I don't be rocking in my chair. Yo, what? I was scared. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was scared. I don't know about life, but I I'm an artist. Scared. But I was. I was I'm like, scared. oh no. I was scared. I, just, I gotta get about it. It was just like when my mom would come visit me and shit. I used mm -hmm. to be like, yo, my take me home. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be real. They they kept adding days on to me really? being oh, in no. there because I was fast. Like right. I would get irritated from being in there and be like, I wanna go the fuck home. Like you have you can't have no phone or nothing. I had to use that phone. I was like, I called my parents, like, yo, get me out of here. Like right now. Like, what are y'all doing? I was sitting on the phone. I like, lied to y'all not. I used to I used to hang out with this girl named Tazaya. I used to hang out with Tazaya every day. I was on the phone with Tazaya every day. <laughs> Yo, I was at my house. Tazaya and Tamir, but they was at my house every day, faithfully, yo. I was on the phone with them bitches. At, you only could call your mommy and dad. I was on the phone with them bitches, faithfully, every yo. day. They like, you talking to see your parents? I'd be like, mm hmm. Anyways, <laughs> Mira, this. Da, 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 da. Okay. I'm not talking to my parents. I'm talking to my friends. Like, but no, I'm definitely had to. I'm gonna be real, like, I'm gonna be real, like, after that shit. You would have thought it would that would have been maybe changed. Like, no, I got worse after that. Like, I really did. Like, I had to start beating people up even more. Yo, like, if I'm gonna keep getting like that for beating your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna no like that for beating your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well go out with a bang. Like, no, -uh. if I'm gonna beat your bitches, I might as well like I did let a couple people try to take me back to that place, but then I had to go home and I self-reflected and I'm like, it's your fault that you did that. Mm -hmm. It's your fault you just fucked that bitch or whatever the case may be. You know, I don't feel bad. I would never feel bad about beating anybody up. I'm crying. But what I will feel bad about is letting myself get to that place where I right. even had to yeah, get true. that mad to even want to put my hands on you or even, you know, because mm -hmm. fighting is not... Yeah. I'm gonna tell all you bitches this right now. What's the point of fighting? Because if even if you win, even if you win, you still got bruises. You still buy your body still hurt. You wake up sore and shit. You still fucking you still don't like the bitch that you fought. So it's like, what is the point? Why we just can't not like each other? I still over here, you still over there. Mm -hmm. I get my money my way, you get your money your way. If we get money the same way, cool. But it don't have no money involved in it, I'm not beefing with you. Like, it's this one bitch, Brie. Yeah, I don't care I'm gonna say her name with a podcast. I'm oh, here, Brandon. But you stole from me. When I see you, mm. now that, now you, 
you gonna get all lay ass whooped. You gonna get the final ass whooped and lay got. I'm crying. <laughs> like, for you. Jesus. You gonna get the final ass whooping and lay got. Say, like, I'm just dead, but nah, I'm dead serious too. Like, you stole from me. Like, you didn't just steal from me, you, you stole from me. That like, you stole, stole from me. So. Hey, yo. Not you stole, stole from me. Like, <laughs> like you ain't steal no little money. Nine hundred dollars. I'll petty low hundred dollars and not like that. Nah, but you was stealing. Like, you a thief. When I see you, I hope you see this podcast because we had your little I'm crying. dirty ass boyfriend on the loud and clear podcast. <laughs> really? Yes, I brought him around. This for him to be oh, dirty. Oh, <laughs> come on. I brought him around. This for him to be dirty. Because I got some people from the loud and clear that I'm trying to bring back for a Shawnee's, but nah, I'm not worried about him. Not him. Yeah, he definitely don't got to come back. If you bring Shamar back, let me know. I want a cop. I remember. <laughs> But yeah, definitely ain't worried about him. But that's crazy. I know that. Oh, you a thief, thief. Okay, let me go take your episode down. <laughs> let me stop playing. But for real, so how long did you stay in the hospital? First time, all of them. <laughs> oh yeah, you did say you went. <laughs> the first time it wasn't long. The first time I was only there, they just evaluated me. They sent me home. Like that was like the first three times they evaluated me home. The last two times they kept me. And then the first time I was there, it was like eight days. And then the second time I was there, it was like 13. But either Damn, way, it was too long. No, for real. <laughs> it was too I was long. only there for like two to three nights. No. Nice. Like two nights or something That's because like you that. was in there being nice, probably. Yeah. You was in there doing what they said. Minding my business. I, no, I was minding my business, you know me. I um, wasn't in there being nice I had three nothing. people visit me one time. Tyree, Danny, and Qua. Like, that's it. Like, and I was out of there. That's that's it. That's all. I don't give a fuck with quiet, but the other two, yeah, they still good in my book. But let me tell you, Danny, fuck you, ain't come see me. <laughs> <Ain't> <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Say no. Say no, buddy. I'm just playing. <laughs> Ugh, I'm just know. playing. But y'all, honestly, if y'all want to move and chase your dreams, do that shit. I I support it in every which way. Like move. Get the fuck out of the city that's holding you back. I if agree. you feel like you're depressed or whatever the case may be, and you feel like something is causing you depression and you know what that thing is, don't keep going back to that thing. Because I promise you, life is never going to get better. Like, really try to find yourself spiritually. Like, tap into your third eye and your past self and your chakras and all that. I promise you're going to feel so much better like I feel so much better and with me being Muslim and things like that people have these expectations for me mm -hmm. you know for me to be garbed up for me not to be a dancer for me not to rap for me not to do all this stuff I promise when you really start to do things for yourself it doesn't matter anymore like it don't matter no more because at the end of the day what is anybody what is what anybody saying about you really going to do to you? No, like, true. Definitely. You're not going to lose no sleep. You, If you're hungry, your stomach's still going to growl. Like, Definitely. I agree. Like, You want to smoke, you still going to roll your blunt. Like, walk your path. Literally, the way you want to walk your path, don't let nobody dictate that shit for you. Because at the end of the day, you're going to... I'm glad I'm 20 and I'm learning and I learned that shit. Like I'm That's glad. That's what I said when I was 21. Like I'm real glad that I'm young and I learned it because at the end of the what? day, it's like I would have hate to be 40 and just learn how to love myself. What? Like, and I know people like that. Me too. And I don't want to put her out there, but my mom was like that. No, she was definitely. a people pleaser up until my mom turned 45, bro. My mom, 46, she living her best fucking life. No, she definitely is, and I love that for you. Like, <laughs> she's living her best life fucking life. I Number one selling you. on Amazon with a book, all types of shit. I'm proud of my mom. Yeah, you up next. You yeah, up next. I'm real proud of my mom. I'm coming away. But I'm going to be real. Watching my mom learn to love herself and shit like that made me want to learn to love myself and heal myself and all this other shit at 20 so I don't be her like trying to figure that. myself out like and that's and that's literally what me and her we talk about all the time like mom we so we are healing every day and that shit is great like because it's like when you got two healed motherfuckers in one space it's like any unhealed soul that come near us it's like the <laughs> 
Literally, like, fuck you, get the fuck on. Nobody okay, cares. Like, I'm not putting my... You met my manager and my team and all of that. Do you see how they push me? Yeah. I surrounded they, myself they, with motherfuckers who really... They, they talking to me about you. Like, they trying to figure <laughs> out how we could throw you in the mix. Like, they like... I love it. I they love they it. try. They everything. Everybody I surround myself with, with right now is literally like like a shiny like got That's gold, what I'm trying like, to do. Oh my god! That's why I'm telling you, come to the city, bro. You gonna come to the city? Oh you're my gonna god! Ask you, okay. I'm trying to tell you, I'll see you guys come to the city. We gonna be together. It's gonna be the. It's gonna be a shiny podcast, and my it's thing is podcast time all the time, oh. like. That's that. another thing that I'm dropping real soon. And my thing is podcast because I always have this. My thing is, I was like, but my thing is, right. watch, watch when you watch this video. I'm like, my thing is, how okay. hard? Like, like, I like it. I like it. Like, but my thing is, cause I always say, my thing is, because my thing is, like, I don't really care what your thing is, but my thing is, like, because how I look at point of views and shit like that. Mental health is something I want to speak on real bad. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to speak on, like, shit that we don't speak on. Like, cause right now global warming fucking the world up. Mm-hmm. Why y'all not talk about that? Y'all don't mean about it. I don't really care. It's 16 degrees outside. The Same world is the world, like, the world like, is ending. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, the lowest it's gonna get tonight is five degrees. That's sad, but staying in the house. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, y'all got that. Like. I really do, but I'm really proud of you. Like, oh, I did want to ask you. So, who is your number one supporter right now? My number one supporter, mm-hmm. me. Outside of you, yeah. <laughs> like, who would you really be like, yo, like, they really, they really be there, like, they really be supporting, like, Lele. Who's that? Hadisha. Really? Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I would. I would say that Tabisha is my biggest supporter right now. My mom. My mom supported me with everything. School, work, career, everything. But mm-hmm. Layla, she really pushed everything. She be, wherever she go. Layla Bob's? Yes, okay. wherever she go, mm-hmm. she pushing artists. She's letting everybody know who artist is, what artist is about. Mm-hmm. Artist this, artist that, artist, 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 artist like. Right now, her vocabulary is all me, and I really fuck with it. Like, she's always been real, That's real supportive. Need. Like, when I say my sister, always been real supportive. Like, when I started this music shit, she was there. Like, mm-hmm. she was my manager for a long time. Got me performing. When I tell you when I got back off the Philly, she the reason I started living the way I lived out there. Started really figuring out how I wanted to move and shit. She was taking me to different, we going to different places, we meeting different people, we talking to this person, talking to that person, we linking with this person, linking with that person. We got shows coming up, this coming up, that coming up. We hosting here, hosting there. When I say my sister is literally like my biggest supporter, she, she don't care if she gotta miss a couple nights of money to make sure I eat and I fuck with it. Like it be like, bro, and I be telling her like, Tell you got your own shit you gotta worry about. She don't be caring. Like, she got like, sick. You the meal ticket. We get you out there. I don't gotta worry about nothing ever else in life. And that's why I fuck with her. Cause it's like, bro, you know, you already know. She see the vision. It's like, you already know once I get in that position to put you in position. We in position. Like, and nobody about to knock us off or nothing. My sister keep me on my hustle. She keep me on my grind. She makes sure. She always asking me what you got coming out. What you got coming up. You need a studio session. Like go to the studio. This, that, and the third. Like she let me hear what you writing. Like she really wanted it. I got a beat for you. Like she mm-hmm. really real, real supportive. I'm gonna be real. My brothers used to be that way. And then we fell off. And, you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't know if this time we can ever get back. I'm praying that it is. But. With her being there right now, it's like, I really don't give a fuck. You talking about the youngest one? Your younger one? Yeah, him and the oldest one, too. Mm-hmm. But, like, but my brothers, period. Like, my siblings, period. How many brothers you got? A couple. I got, oh, I'm crying. I only know about two. Yeah, you only know about two. I got dad kids. <laughs> like, my dad got kids and shit mm-hmm. like that. I don't fuck with them. But I'm not fucking with them. I don't really talk to them like that. Mm-hmm. But... Like, lay, that's my dog. When I go up, mm-hmm. All right. she gonna be right so, on my left side. <laughs> period. That's my next question. Like, 
name the top five people that's coming to the top with you outside of your team because yeah my team is granted ain't it just the one guy and the two other the three guys it's just all four of us and then the, the photographer Okay. Five of us. Okay. So them five, they already, that's the already, they five. Yeah. They already So you five. said Lay. So Lay four. coming with me for sure. Mm -hmm. India's definitely coming with me. Because if that was my. That's the title. We know Lay's your sister. India's my best friend. If okay. India, if, if Lay wasn't my number one supporter, India definitely number one too. Like if them two bitches, they neck and neck. I'm weird. Like Is when they come she to. She and Billy too? No, India out okay. here. Okay. But when it comes to the support. With neck and neck, them bitches is like, like right there. Like when I say right there, like them two bills is my dogs. I'm picking them two with me. They definitely Period. going for sure. Mm -hmm. My mother definitely going like. I love it. My mother, I'm going to be real. She's not even about to count in this top five because she's going regardless. Whether I blow off this music shit or blow off of anything. Once I turn into a millionaire, I'm giving my mom millions of years. Like. She about to have a million a year from me. By the time I'm You're 22, by the time I'm 22, I'm trying to tell you I'm gonna be touching my first million. I already know. Like, but she not even. I'm not about to count her. I'm just gonna count friends and like our family. My cousin Bree, my cousin Bree definitely going with me. Sabria, oh, Sabria is definitely. Oh, Sabria is <laughs> definitely going with me because Sabria started school with me when I first moved to Philly. She got me a job at Checkers. Mm -hmm. She like pushed me like that bitch really checked on me every day after I lost the baby all types of shit like she really was by my side and then I got Unique and Tiana taking them two bitches with me y'all definitely coming with me like it's a couple more people that's coming with me like Anaya Anaya know for sure she coming with me like she, I don't even gotta say that she already know that. You feel me? That's not something I gotta say. Cause she, her support real crazy too. Those yeah. are all friends. These are all friends. Damn. These are friends. Like when I tell y'all, get the fuck out of wherever y'all living. Like, bro, and it it's not making you happy. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, get the fuck out of there. I'm the fully got the best friends. Like Unique and Tiana, them bitches. Tiana, really? That bitch pushed me every fucking day. Unique pushed me every fucking day. Tiana, me and Tiana. I'm still going through my little circle, but you Me know, and Tiana school, go to school, school together. School. So Tiana, me and Tiana on each other's edge. You in school, bro. You doing this, you doing that. You did your homework, you did your schoolwork. Me and Beth it. together. Let me copy your paper real quick, because mm -hmm. I wasn't here yesterday. Let me get your notes from yesterday type right. shit. Like, that's us. Unique. She, y'all ready to go get to bed? We about to mm -hmm. get to bed. Like, those are the bitches I surround myself with now. Like, I don't hang out with bitches that when it goes to talk about what we're about to steal from Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's not tea. <laughs> like, granted, I never want to knock a Walmart trip. <laughs> I'm never going to knock it. I'm never going to turn it down. <laughs> but <laughs> that's not oh. productive. Right. Like, every day you want to sit around and talk about what we're about to steal from Walmart today. Yo, right. Bro, where the fuck is the money at? I'm not gonna keep stealing from Walmart. Like, we're gonna get locked up eventually. Right. Like, no. If I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail for something I did. I'm not going to jail because you were stealing and I was with you. She's not going to jail at all. Okay? We're going to put that out. Yeah, I'm not going to jail at she's all. But if, jail I, jail. if I was to ever go back. You know what? She's not going to jail at all. We're not even going to put that in the universe. <laughs> like, let's yeah, I'm not ever going back. Let's I'm going not, back real quick. Y'all yeah, not ever going back. <laughs> but like, to go to jail for some shit you did, you no. know. Okay, see, that's better. That's, that's, that's better. better. I'm, I'm not ratting. I'm not ever ratting. I'm going to be like, I didn't do that. <laughs> that was not me, bro. No, I don't be a no, like real bro. rap. Like that was not me, bro. Like y'all got that. Like that mm. was not me, y'all. Mm -mm. by yourself. But no, real rap. Like I like to sit around people who like to talk about their goals and what they want out of life and how how your goals. Like if you got an idea. How can I use that idea to help my business or my brand? If I got an idea, how can you use that idea to help your business and your brand and then not be jealous about us stealing each other's Ooh. ideas and brands? Because at the end of the day, jealousness. I can't. Because at the end of the day, if we friends or whatever, not even friends or whatever, if we friends, we supposed to build each other, bitches. Oh, if you if you got a brand, if you got a brand and I got an idea for your brand and I can help you with that, I'm going to tell you, bro. I think you should do this instead. You feel me? Yes. And if you feel like, yes. instead of it being an argument or me trying to shit on you or you trying to shit on me, it could just be a, 
Bro, I appreciate that. Like, I ain't right. gonna look at it that way. Because exactly. it's bro. always exactly. things that you don't see that everybody else see. So it's like, when it comes down to my podcast and shit like that, I know I'm going to need this bitch help. I know I am. Because it's going to be Definitely. certain things that she know how to do that I don't know how to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have to sit down and actually learn how to do it. But that be mm -hmm. the problem. Bitches don't be wanting to learn from other people. They be wanting to do it on their own. Not and even just that. Like, females tend to be so like and competition I don't want, yeah i don't want her to surpass me so i'm not even gonna help her not knowing if she do surpass you like me if i surpass somebody that helped me i'm gonna turn around and bring you up to where i'm at and if you surpass me i will hope that you will turn around and bring me up to where you at and it just keeps going and keep going and keep going but no Y'all want to look at it as, oh, she might go past me. I don't know. I don't think I could. You feel me? I don't think I want to help her. Like, come on. That's, that's what goofy. I'm saying. That's, that's goofy. This is my thing. Like, it's like, when you feel like you in competition with somebody, that's when you should feel proud of that person. Like, because it's like, bro, you really doing good if I feel like you could even compete with me. If that's I feel like you could even yeah. compete with me. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you for even thinking you can compete with me. Because I'm not ever in competition with nobody. There's no other like me. There's never going to be nobody like 100%. me. You mm -hmm. feel me? You always supposed to look at yourself and think of yourself as the best one there mm -hmm. is. The fuck you mean? You yeah, always really. supposed to do that. Especially when you local. You always supposed to do that. You feel me? We ain't comparing to Carisha please and them. I ain't trying to be them right now. I'm trying to get up there. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I'm trying to get up there. But I'm learning. I sit in the house all day and watch Breakbeat. And watch Don't Call Me Right Girl. I sit in there and watch Mark. I watch Just Hilarious. All these interviews and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I know how me to. Too. to what, I, what topics is popping. What is mm -hmm. this like? You feel me? When you doing stuff like this, you always can learn. It's always a learning experience. And instead of people, not even bitches, because niggas do it too. Mm -hmm. Instead of y'all taking it as a learning experience, y'all take it as somebody trying to shit on your business or somebody trying to tell you something about your business. And it's like, bro, no, I'm trying to grow your business with right. you. What you mean? I don't want no part. I don't want no credit. I'm not asking for that. That's what people be, that's another thing people be having in their head. Oh, if I do her idea, she going to want the credit for it. Bro, no, I love seeing people do what I do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? A, a trendsetter, that's what I'm trying to be. Period. Like, what you mean? I'm trying to be a trendsetter. Like, everything I do, I want people to copy. I want people to follow behind. I want to be a leader. So I want you to follow me. I want you to get mm -hmm. inspired by the shit that I'm doing. I don't want to, I'm never going to be jealous or say, oh, that bitch copying me. If you copying me, great. That means I'm doing something right. That means I'm doing something good. Yeah, and that's sure. what y'all have to start realizing in y'all head. When motherfuckers start doing stuff that you did first or that you think you did first, you just got to take that as a win for yourself. Like, you taking it in like, oh, I know I started that. Oh, I know I did that first. Oh, I know. So, you knowing people watching you, you knowing. You knowing in your head, if I can if I can inspire this, these little bit of people when I'm local, imagine what I could do to the world once I get out there. Like... Imagine how many people are going to be rocking a girl fit one day and a boy fit the next day and feel comfortable to do it mm -hmm. in unapologetic clothes. Why? Because they see me do it. they like, oh, she could do it. I could do it too. Right. That's how you're supposed to look at certain situations. It's never supposed to be a, oh, she doing that, so I'm not even going to do that because she doing that. What? I'm be real. When everybody started rapping, I was off it. I'm like, I'm off this. Everybody want to be a rapper. But then I started really thinking about it. Like, bro, you different. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers not talk about nothing. Nothing. They not saying nothing. I'm not even trying to be funny. Gorilla got rep, got famous off of damn, she fucked nigga crazy. So true. Yeah. I'm speaking real shit and I still ain't getting the real shit. But it's cool. I'm going to. I'm not hating. Definitely. I love it. Definitely. I love that for her. Mm -hmm. I love that for her. I'm not hating on you, bitch. Get your bag. Right. You had five dollars one day, eighty racks the next. I'm trying to be like you. Okay. I'm trying to be like you. I'm not trying right. to beef with you. That's where y'all be getting shit fucked up. Y'all be thinking that people see you doing something and they copy you and you think, oh, they they trying to discredit you or whatever the case may be. No, it's never about a discredit. It's always about. It's always about how you do it. Now, you never supposed to take nobody's idea and do it the same exact way as them. But when you take their idea, spice it up, let them know, like, bro, you inspired me to do this. 
I always let you know. You inspire me to start a podcast. I mm-hmm. always say that. Teach me how to do it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's not me. That then that then that would be that would be like you being like, oh, she want to copy me. She want to start a podcast instead of you being like, well, come on, let me teach it down and teach you how to do this shit. No, oh, I'm not showing you how to do that so you can be like me. What? I hate people like that. I hate I I hate people like that. I had to surround myself with people that was like, teach me how to get the bag the way you get the bag. Teach me. I was around people. I'm around people that I'm like, show me how you just did that, bro, so we could get that together. Yeah, and I'm learning that you gotta have people in your circle when where your past is gonna align. You cannot have people on a different journey than you, or that have a different mindset than you. Like, no, it's just not gonna work, bro. Cause you and got one goal, bro. and then they probably don't have a goal with the with the um things that y'all doing. You feel me? They just doing it. But where compared to you, you have an actual goal that you trying to reach with it. So. That's just that's just what I'm learning, but you um, also learning this too. I'm starting to see it too with you. I can still be friends with you even if our paths don't align. It's like I can still be friends with you. It's just when it comes to certain things, you have friends for everything. You feel me? Like you got friends for everything. Mm -hmm. Like my friends, I would never bring them on my podcast unless we was talking about some hood shit. I'm crying. Like honestly, I never bring them bitches on my podcast to Mm -hmm. talk about no mental health. To talk about anything serious. Like, I would never bring them bitches. Unique and Tayana are not the bitches to have with my podcast. To talk about that type of stuff. India is the best person to have with my podcast for that stuff. It's like, I would know. I You gotta know your friends, too. Because you gotta know what this friend can do. What this friend can do. What that friend can do to you. What this friend can bring to the table. What that friend can bring to the table. Because every relationship is give and take. So when people be saying, what do you get out of it? What do you get out of it? You always supposed to get something out of every relationship. Even if you're not buying them materialistic things, anything. Knowledge is always something that you can always get from somebody. It's always something to learn. It's things you know that I don't know. It's things I know being 20 that you don't know. And it's like... I wish older people would see that too, cause it's like definitely like y'all, bro, feel like y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't know shit. Nothing, y'all right? don't know anything nowadays. To be honest, this is a new generation. We need to teach y'all everything. New phone. Y'all don't yeah. even know how to use y'all phone. Back so, but we're gonna wrap this up. I just want to end this with you naming three people that you want to work with. Polo G, local and not local, it don't matter. Polo G, tied to legit. <laughs> my guy y'all do I'm, i need that we need <laughs> that right we need, need that. that that is something that. that that's needed <laughs> i need that and um if you don't have three that's fine if that's no because i know that i know the third one mm-hmm. but, i feel like i know the third one but go ahead i know the third one but i, I already worked with him so it's like I can't really say I'm, I work for Kilo. Oh. Uh, but the third work. one is Young K. I want to oh. work with him. Oh. You know I love me so Young K. Say, Suki. I do want to work with Suki. Oh, so <laughs> that's, that's my idol. Like, I love you. And I just watched her episode with Cam Newton. She was just on Cam Newton. Yo, she was. Podcast. I just watched that. I episode. love Suki from Delaware. So she from my Chai State area. She She from my Chai State area. So Mm -hmm. I love Suki. Like that is my idol. Suki and Cupcake. Like if I could get them two bitches to stop dropping the beef. Okay. Like if they could drop the beef and get me on a song with them. Wait, hold on. That's that's another thing. All right, this is gonna be the last thing for real. Okay, so if when you get in the industry, right, and you Mm -hmm. really popping for real, we know who beefing right now. So it's like, if they still beefing, would you, are you going to be one of those artists who, are? Right, I, I don't think I should work with you because you beefing with them. No, because I want to work, work with Nikki and Cardi. Oh, why, why? Why? I want to work with both of them. I want to work with Mulatto too. Like, right. it's like okay. a lot of people I want to work with. I'm going to be real. That be Do I want to work with you? I'm going to be real. Do I want to work with Nikki the way Nikki is now? Fuck no. Nikki from 2012? 2015, 16. That's a different. Nikki, I like that. Nikki, that. What do you do? The direct that Nikki. Fly, Nikki, like dear old Nikki, Nikki. We need pink Nikki back. Like that's the Nikki that I miss. Like Nikki, that's when I was a. Was it what they call them? Nickelators? What they call them? I don't even remember. Barbs. That's when I was a barb. Y'all said Nickelators. (laughs) <laughs> See that's how you know I don't even be paying attention. Like, but Cardi gang all day. Like I'm Team Cardi. 
to be honest, I'm really team Cardi, but mm -hmm. I love Cardi B. Like, I would love to work with a lot of women in the industry, and this would be like, y'all gotta chill when it comes to being jealous and envy and all this other stuff like that. Bro, I'm gonna say her name is Suki or Suki. 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 It's Sukiana. Sukiana, yeah. Sukiana. She was just talking about that on the podcast earlier how Cardi B was actually the one who, like, she was popping before WAP. But that really was like her breaking point because it was. she was in that video, or whatever. And she was talking about how that video was just like it was woman empowerment. Like it no was. matter how negative everybody want to look at it, it was woman empowerment. Like Cardi really brought people. <laughs> Ruby, um, who else was in there? I don't know, but uh, yeah, Chloe. Ruby. I think one of the Kardashians was in there. Yeah, and it was just like she brought all these females on and put them. Yeah, Kylie Jenner video. was in there. Kylie yeah. was in there. Kylie was in the video. So but it's like yeah, Cardi B. Like that was dope. That all was them like dope. women in the industry is not really who I'm looking to work with mm -hmm. but the niggas like Dirk and Polo G, Young K, um, the ba little baby, I about to say the baby, little baby, uh, PMB me, like all these different niggas that I want to work with it's like it's a whole but it's people from my city that I want to work with like I ain't saying all them because y'all be getting food. Y'all big, think you got famous and shit, but it's people from my oh, city yeah. that I want to work with. But it's like I'm about to work with me. Artist is about to do a project, Soul Searching. Period. It's dropping on the first. Soul Searching the EP will be coming out real soon, so Stay be looking soon. out for the for the dates on that. Follow me on all my social media so you can keep up with it. Everything is L47 underscore artist. Everything Maybe Twitter, YouTube. Twitter, Snapchat, artist. My YouTube is Artist World. That's okay. it. Like everything is L47 artist except for YouTube. TikTok is L47 artist. Twitter, L47 artist. Everything is L47 artist. Like, well, y'all heard her. Follow her, subscribe, all that. Stay tuned for the new video dropping on the first. This is dropping on the first, 11 a.m. Um, I just want to say thank you for coming on the podcast. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you for um, having I'm me. I'm so yeah. proud of you, but I'm so happy. Like, congratulations happy on you. your mic hat. Oh, yeah, y'all see it. Well, no, I'm so proud of Thank you. you. Okay. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Like, I was with you when you started this. So, no, to watch no, you be definitely. the way you are right now with the Atlanta photo shoes, my bitch, this brand ambassador for this, brand ambassador for that. She's a brand ambassador for unapologetic. Like, you are, like. Y'all stay tuned for that merch. I already know that merch is going to be dope. <laughs> y'all. I just, yes, we both out here getting to it. And I'm proud of both of us. Like, we really, and I love her so much because it's like, yo, like, ever since the beginning, like, I just always resonated with her. Like, I just feel like our past and our stories were similar. Similar, like, that's we the poor for each stuff. other. Yes, right. girl, like, I swear to you. Like, like we both was getting our ass beat. <laughs> both the black sheep, like, both the black sheep out the family, like. Black sheep, black eyes, we was just black everything. <laughs> Not black eyes, but for real. Okay. It really was. Like, that was an inside joke, but it was for real. Like, it was true. Like, it's okay. Like, we went through that together, and it was Seriously, cool. Like, it bro. was like, yo, when Seriously. you found somebody that you could really, like, relate to, yes. y'all inseparable. Yes. yes. Watch yes. how we turn this shit up. 2023 is ours. Stay tuned, yo. Stay tuned. Like, yeah. Time to get And that's high. the Shami's podcast. The first episode, we back at it. Keep tuning in every Kimmy, Sunday, 11 a.m. 11. Keep subscribing. Keep subscribing. For the motto is F you, do you. F you, do you. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. That's my next catch. <laughs> You know you got a good girl